Hi guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and today we're going to break down FIGO, the pet insurance company. Now, we're going to walk through the process of getting a quote. I'm going to show you why I do like how customizable it is, and it really is a good option for a pet parent looking for good pet insurance. So we got pet insurance designed by pet people, and the name of the company is FIGO, F-I-G-O, not FIDO, but FIGO. Let's go ahead and get a quote right here. And everyone knows I'm a big Boston Terrier fan, so we're going to do a Boston Terrier today. So customize your quote, guys. We're going to do Figo. We're going to do a dog. We're going to do a male. I like to pretend like the dog is young, too, guys. So, and usually I'm going to say we're, I will say a year. Not super young, but young. You know, we try to get in there early. You want to go in, get a health check, have your veterinarian say, you have a healthy dog, and then go ahead and get your pet insurance. Pets breed, Boston Terry, and get a quote. Okay, so the pump and a quote out for us. Now, this is the part, guys, I really wanted to show you. Because this is where Fago really wins. Because you can customize your pet insurance quite nicely. A couple quick things. So up here, you're going to see my quote, $23.01. So what we have here is a $5,000 annual coverage, a $10,000, and an unlimited. This tells us at some point, if they're paying out to that amount of money, they will stop making payment beyond... 5000 10000 or unlimited. So you should say to yourself, am I nervous? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be spending more than $10,000 this year on my doggy or on my kitty cat. If you're not going to be spending more than $10,000, you really shouldn't be going for the higher premium because you don't need it, right? One thing I want you guys to remember is things are getting more expensive. So if you do have two very, very, very serious emergency appointments, you could be over 5000 if you have to fix two ACLs, you definitely will be over 5000 So when you look at your doggy, I do like the 10000 one. You really shouldn't be spending more than $10,000 on your doggy every year. This is a cool thing, guys. Uh, reimbursements and deductible. So let's actually say the deductible first over here. Deductible can be as low as 100 up to 750 So this means I will pay $100 down here. And then FIGO will start paying a certain percentage of it. Or I will spend $750 and then FIGO will start covering it. So let's, let's see what happens here. I press on 100 and boom, look at that. My price goes up, of course, right? Price goes up. Now, if I'm say, I don't think my dog is going to get hurt. I think we're going to have a good year. And if he does get hurt, I'm willing to spend a lot more money before FIGO helps me out. This is just an emergency, you know, umbrella. So if I do $750, watch this, everybody. Whoo, way less money a month. But I'm going to be spending a lot more money before FIGO helps me out. The other thing that will affect this is your reimbursement. So do after I hit... Let's say that's 750. Now let's let's go around in the middle, guys. Let's go in the middle. Let's say 250, okay? So after I hit that 250, how much is FIGO gonna support me? And that's the reimbursement. So if I see 80%, they will cover 80 and I will cover 20. Hypothetically speaking, if I have a thousand dollars that is eligible for FIGO to help me cover, I will spend 250 of that to hit my deductible, and then the rest of the 750, FIGO will cover 80%, I will cover 20%. So let's say I want to do 90%, guys, because I want to spend even less. If you go to 90%, FIGO helps you up at 90%, you can see it jumps again pretty substantially per month. Now, one thing a lot of people don't realize is your your office exams, guys, are not covered by pet insurance, and that's like almost universal. Office exams, when you walk in the door to the veterinary office, they charge you initially. So like at our clinic, it's around $49. Uh, most clinics are closer to 60 on average in the Midwest. And if you move out to the West or the East, you're looking at office visits, 70, 80, 90 dollars. It gets really, really darn expensive. The uh, veterinary exam fee for accidents and illnesses visit, this would be, you know, $6 a month. Now, Here's the deal. This changes too, guys. Let's see, you do 80% and 250. You know, it was $5 before, and now it's $4. Follows the same rules. You must hit your deductible first, and then they cover your exams. And that can be really beneficial. This is, this definitely adds more money to your monthly premium, but this, I do like this add-on to the plan. I think it's really fancy. And if you're going to the veterinary office a lot for problems, or you're worried you might be, 
it's something to consider because you will probably hit the deductible quite quickly. So then in this case, um, let's say your exam is 60 bucks and 80% is covered by FIGO. FIGO is a really good pet insurance company. They have great reviews. They are easy to work with as a veterinarian. I've seen a handful of their claims come through. They are underwritten. I never recommend a vet, uh, a pet insurance company, you know, but talk to your veterinarian and say, hey, I saw this guy on the internet. It was a good option for people. And if your veterinarian recommends it, your veterinarian likes it, definitely consider it um, because I do feel like pet insurance is really important for pet parents these days because it definitely gives you peace of mind and also it allows you to cover those expensive veterinary bills that you don't expect to happen.